Hello everyone, I am Satyajit. In this video, we will discuss how to automate compliance scans with Red Hat Satellite 6. Satellite 6 uses the OpenSCAP to define security configuration policies. Satellite makes OpenSCAP easier to use by allowing you to deploy the OpenSCAP configuration to host, manage the compliance policy centrally, and to view audited reports from the satellite web interface. In this demo, I will show you the steps to import the default SCAP content into the satellite. Configure open SCAP policy on satellite using Ansible. Then we will associate the policy to the host and run the Ansible role to apply the configuration on the host. Post successful execution of the Ansible role, we will initiate a scan from the satellite web interface. Upon successful execution of the scan, the audited report will be uploaded to the satellite. Next, we will view the audited report generated based upon the policy from the satellite web interface. Let's see the demo. The host name of the server is satellite.example.com. Let's verify the service status by executing hammer ping. Here we can see all the service status looks ok. Next we will list the active features on the satellite server by running the hammer capsule info hyphen hyphen name host name of the satellite server. Here we can see Ansible and OpenSCAP are listed in the active features list. Next, we will verify the SCAP security guide package. The SCAP security guide provides the SCAP content which contains the source data stream files containing baselines, security guidance and associated validation mechanism utilizing the security content automation protocol or SCAP. This package provides the latest collection of security policies for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Next, we will upload the SCAP content into the satellite by running the command hammer scap hyphen content bulk hyphen upload hyphen hyphen type default. This will upload the default SCAP content into the satellite server. Here we can see the SCAP contents are successfully uploaded to the satellite. Let's verify the same by logging into the satellite web interface. Log into the satellite web interface. Navigate to hosts menu under compliance SCAP content. Here we can see the default SCAP contents are successfully loaded into the satellite. Next click on configure roles import from satellite.example.com to import the foreman SCAP client role provided as a part of the default satellite installation. Select the foreman SCAP client role. Hit submit. The role and the associated variables are imported successfully. To view the variables, Click on Variables. In Satellite 6.10, once you import the role, all the variables part of the role will be imported by default. Next click Configure Host Groups. I have already created a host group for this demo. Two hosts are part of this host group. I will edit the host group and update the open SCAP parameters. I'll set the open SCAP capsule. This is necessary as the client will fetch SCAP content and upload reports via the open SCAP proxy or capsule. Next, click on Ansible roles. I will assign the 
foreman escape client role to the host group click submit so any host part of the host group will inherit these parameters next navigate to the hosts menu under compliance policies click new policy to create the compliance policy choose ansible as a deployment option for this demo i'll set the name as cap demo next select the escap content as i am creating the compliance policy for rel8 so i'll set the escap content to rel8 default content next select the xccda profile an xccda profile is a checklist against which a host or a host group is evaluated for this demo i will select pci dss version 3.2.1 control baseline next I will set the schedule in this example I will set a monthly schedule with scan happening on the first day of the month we can also set this to a weekly or a custom schedule which can use a cron type syntax location is set organization is set next i will associate the host group where i have updated the open escape parameters so any host part of the host group will be associated with the compliance policy hit submit next we will navigate to the all hosts page click hosts all hosts here we can see two hosts are part of the relate host group as we have associated the compliance policy with the host group so client will inherit the policy parameter from the host group let's verify by clicking into one of the hosts click yaml button here we can see the open escape parameters are successfully associated with the client host next we will navigate to the all hosts page and run the ansible role to apply the configuration on the client host the public ssh key is copied to the client host and remote execution is already enabled let's select both the hosts under select action drop down menu select run all ansible role so this will run the foreman escape client role associated with the hosts the role will automatically install the foreman escape client package on the client host it will configure the config file with parameters which are needed for the operation of the foreman escape client and create a cron job on the client host as per the schedule defined in the compliance policy to run scans and upload the compliance report to the satellite to view the role execution click on one of the hosts here we can see the task install foreman escape client package executed successfully make sure the satellite tools repository is enabled on the client host as the foreman escape client package comes from the satellite tools repository next we can see the cron file as well as the config file is created and updated successfully as the role is successfully executed on the client host to verify the configuration let me initiate a scan from the satellite web interface click on the target host to navigate to the host page next under schedule remote job drop down menu choose run open escape scan this will initiate the scan on the client via remote execution to view the execution click on the host 
here we can see the remote job is running and it's fetching the content from the satellite via the open SCAP capsule. Next, it's running the scan on the client using the XCCDF profile specified in the compliance policy. Here we can see the scan completed successfully and uploaded the report to the satellite. To view the report, navigate to hosts under compliance, click reports. With this report, we can see the security and audit status of the system. Here we can see the number of checks which are passed and failed. To view the report in detail, click on the hyperlink. Here we can see all the checks against which the scan was run. You also have the option to export the report in HTML format. To export the report in HTML format, click download HTML. Here we can see the report is exported in HTML format. Here we can see the target host name, the SCAP content that was used to audit the system, the profile ID against which the check was run, the start date, the compliance scoring generated based on the number of security rules that have passed or failed. Scrolling down further, we can see each rule against which the check is passed or failed. To view more detail about the check, click on the check. Exact description and how to fix the failed check. For this check, remediation script and snippets are also included that can be used to remediate the reported issue. Navigate back to the all host page. For one of the hosts, I have initiated the scan from the satellite web interface via remote execution. For the other host, the audit report will be uploaded to the satellite as per the schedule defined in the policy. Let's log in to the host via web console. Click terminal. Here we can see the Ansible role has created the cron job on the client host and based on the schedule, the job will run the scan and will upload the report to the satellite. 